this is how I look on Quidditch tournament days. At the beginning of this year, I started playing Muggle Quidditch. <laughs> There's a team for Sterling Uni, they're called the uh, Demiot Dragons. Anyone that knows Sterling Uni will know that the sports there are really intense, they take it really seriously. So when I went to Sterling I was a little bit hesitant about joining a sports team because I didn't want to dedicate all of my time to it. But Quidditch is actually really chill and great for what I wanted to do, which is just get a little fitter and get back into team sport. I haven't played team sports since I was in like middle school and I really missed it. I love tournament weekend too, like I have so many responsibilities during the week like uni and brownies and musical theatre where I have like stuff to organise. Like Quidditch is one of those things where I just get to go for the weekend and concentrate on nothing but the game. It's really nice. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Quidditch I've linked a video that explains the rules. I thought about using this video to explain how Quidditch works but um, that video does it a whole lot better than I ever could because I only play one position on pitch. I'm a chaser meaning I wear a white headband. This is one of the headbands that I have and I crocheted it myself. Chasers basically are the uh, goal scoring players, the, uh, the quaffle handlers. So I'm either on the offensive trying to score points or on the defensive trying to stop the other team's chasers from scoring points, basically. It's one of the simplest roles in the game to grasp, so quite a lot of uh, beginners start as chasers. So as I say, I'm a beginner. I have only been playing a year and I need to get a lot more confident with a lot of the aspects of the game, especially tackling. Yep, you heard me, tackling. Quidditch is a full contact sport and can get pretty ruthless. It's a completely co-ed game so you can have tiny little women being tackled by giant men and vice versa. There are ways that tiny little women can tackle giant men and have it be effective. Everyone is equal on pitch regardless of your gender. That's one of the things I love about it, it's really inclusive. Even if you don't identify with the binary gender system it still has space for you. And it's less related to Harry Potter than you think. There are people that play the game that have never even read Harry Potter. The players are all definitely sports people, not just Harry Potter fans chucking a ball about a field. Like it has regulatory bodies, the one in the UK is called QUK, there's one in the US, there's different regulatory bodies in different countries, um, there's national competitions and international competitions, there's a Quidditch World Cup. It's a real sport in its own right and definitely deserves to be taken seriously. I love Quidditch, I adore my team and I feel like it's something I want to keep doing for a really long time. So that's my experience with Muggle Quidditch, it's been overwhelmingly positive and I can't recommend it enough. So maybe you haven't played team sport in a while and you want to get back into it or you're looking for just something a little bit different to get fitter with a group of people. Quidditch is a really good choice. Okay, tomorrow's video. Song construct. I hope I have another Eureka moment like I did with the last song. So I'll see you tomorrow. Happy vetting.